Hello and welcome back. You've probably noticed that I have skipped one week to make a devlog, but something important happened in my family, and as you know, family comes first, so during these few weeks I only had two days of free time. I don't have much to show, but it's still better than nothing. So I tried Trello for the first time a few weeks ago, wrote a bunch of stuff that I needed to do and also some of them that are already done. And for this devlog I wrote down 8 tasks concerning my combat system. And during these few days I have completed 5 of them. First task was to make it possible to see the location where you have clicked your mouse. And when I was done making some marker textures and some new scripts, it felt so much better, because sometimes I would press on a wrong place or item and then wonder if it was a bug or was it my mistake. Now every time I click somewhere, it's clear what's going to happen. The second task was to make a trail for the weapon. I simply used Unity's trail effect, adjusted it a bit and created a script so that it would only appear when the character swings his weapon. And this is how it looks now. It's very simple, but I mean, my hero has a simple wooden sword, so the effect doesn't have to be fancy. So anyway, I think it's good enough for now. The third task was to make a kind of hit effect where it would be clear that the enemy was hit by my weapon, and all I did here was change a texture for the white color. It doesn't look bad in my opinion, but could it look better? What do you think? What could I or what should I use instead of this simple white texture? The fourth task was to finally make my enemies disappear after they die. Now this task was a bit difficult, or should I say I made it more difficult myself because I wanted it to look more smooth by making my models fade out. At first I made my enemies collider disappear after they die so that I wouldn't press on it again by mistake. After that I changed the simple material into a transparent material where I actually used a custom shader to adjust the alpha and then I added a new script that lowers the alpha until the enemy is no longer visible and at the end the model is destroyed by the script as well. This looks very smooth and I am very happy with the result. And finally the fifth task was to make a health bar which might look strange now but it's not difficult to change it later. Right now my character has only 10 health and whenever he gets hit, the bottle gets emptier until the liquid disappears and the character dies. Unfortunately I didn't make a death animation, but I will do this next week. So right now when you die, you simply get thrown into the menu screen. By the way, the health potion liquid also raises when the character doesn't move, which indicates that the character is resting. For now I made this healing fast for the sake of testing, but in future updates just staying still will not heal you that quickly. So that's it for this devlog, I hope you enjoyed the progress, like if you did and have a great weekend.